Okay, guys. First unboxing for February. I already filmed the last four unboxings from last month. So, anyway, guys. Um, But, yes. uh, We just hit 570 subscribers right now. So, anyway, guys. Let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see who we got. In 3, 2, 1. So, we got the E-S-T of WWE. Bianca Belair on um, from Basic Series 141. So, yep. Got her in my collection now. I really need LA Knight. Yeah! But anyway, let's go ahead and get out of the box and do the review, shall we? In three, two, one. Okay, guys. So, you know, oh, how the packaging said it has new articulation. So, here's what they updated for the Divas articulation. The wrist. The legs are still the same. The wrist is still the same. Elbows. And look at this. Now, um, if I can, there we go. This might take a while, so hold on. Okay, got the EST's hair in her hand. And yes, she is from Tennessee. And this unboxing and review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, about a month ago, I told you guys about the Pinkie Pie plush I reviewed and unboxed. That is a Walmart exclusive. Well, here is the Rainbow Dash one. And yes, I did. Got the tag, finally. Uh, here's the front, side, side. Looks cool and cute. And it's a Walmart exclusive, which y'all already know. Um, and the tail is so, like, fabric, too. Um, yep, uh... I might not use this in a plush video. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you guys know some points. But let's go ahead and take the tag off. And see what she looks like without the tag on. In 3, 2, 1. Alrighty guys. This plush review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, just letting you guys know, yes, um, I did a review, a plushie review, yesterday, and, uh, well, I was going to review this yesterday, but, um, I never did. So, if y'all are not familiar with Rainbow Friends, I think this is a game on Roblox, because last time I played Roblox, which was a month ago, I haven't played it ever since. So yeah, uh, this was made by Fat Mojo, the same people that used to do the Bendy and the Ink Machines, Plushies, the Doki Doki Lit Literature Club, um, that Star Butterfly plush from Star vs. the Forces of Evil, and yeah. So, what's really weird about this plushie... He's wearing a crown. And his name is Blue. Not Blue from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Just the color Blue. And let's go ahead and take the tag off, shall we? Okay, guys. So here's Blue without his tag. And every single time I look at the face, this one eye right here, Kind of reminds me of Faggy a little bit from Haspen Hotel. But anyway, guys, this plush review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So I was going to do a uh, wrapping 
a Happy Meal toy unwrapping yesterday, but I forgot to do it. Well, mostly last night. So this is the 2014 uh, My Little Pony Toy 2 Pinkie Pie Rainbow Power figurine. Uh, if some of y'all are not familiar with the Rainbow Power, for example, Pinkie Pie has blonde in her hair a little bit, and Fluttershy got blue in her hair, too, so, yeah, and, yes, these toys released about, like, 10 years ago in 2014, and I can't believe I'm reviewing this and unwrapping this, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and get her out of the bag and see what she looks like at out of the bag. And yeah, she comes with stickers too. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get her out of the bag. Okay, guys. Here is Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie. I'm sorry, I'm still a little tired. But anyway, here is Pinkie Pie out of her bag. And I did not put the stickers on. So, yeah. And this unwrapping video will be... Like, unwrapping review will be 100 out of 100. So, yes, I am putting this in the unboxings, like, for the unboxing compilation for February. Uh, I need to finish up with part one, and then I'll go edit part two. But, anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, yes, I did do an unboxing for the past few days. The last time I did an unboxing, which was four days ago on the Anka Bel Air figure, then I did a review on the Rainbow Dash Walmart exclusive plushie like three days ago in that blue plush from Rainbow Friends two days ago. So yep, uh, we're doing a My Hero Academia plush. It's been like since Chris after Christmas since I did a My Hero plushie unboxing. Uh, I think it was Oraka. I don't remember. I will have to relook again after the video. But anyway, let's go ahead and get it out of the bag, shall we? I got Eerie. So, yep, I finally got her in my collection. And I did not took her out of the bag. So, let's go ahead and take her out of the bag in 3, 2, 1. And give it a review. Also, go and let you guys know I took the tag off. And this plushy unboxing and review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I am back with another review video and happy Tuesday. So yes, I'm going to do a Ben 10 video in this one. And the next one, I'm going to do Wrath. And yes, this is from McDonald's. And these toys were released back in 2011. So we got Ultimate Humongousaur. Um, so yes, I know some of y'all are bored with the WWE, My Little Pony, anime, me talking about video games and movies, and Mortal Kombat stuff in my videos. So why not do Ben 10? Because, well... This was my first Ben 10 toy from McDonald's because this was promoting the toys on Cartoon Network and they're really cool. And this review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. And the title of the video is called to McDonald's Happy Meal Toy Toy One Ultimate Humongousaur Figure Review. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe so we already reviewed humongous sore in the last video so we got wrath so to be honest i thought i was going to get the whole set and i had to unwrap humongous sore but i don't have to because i just got the second toy in the mail yesterday so anyway here he is in the bag you can tell it's from Ben 10 Ultimate Alien. Uh, this is Toy 2 Wrath. He reminds me of a, of a tiger combined Wolverine. Again, it's been years since since I watched the 
show on Cartoon Network. So yeah, let's go ahead and get them out of the bag. And three, two, one. Okay, guys. So here is Rat out of his bag. And to be honest, these toys are just action figures. Again, they don't have a gimmick to them like a normal Happy Meal toy would. So Rat has one, two, three articulations. Just like Humongousaur does. And this unwrapping is going to get a 100 out of a 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.